Hi guys, this is Kayla with Kayla's ZSG Journey. <clears throat> I'll be another one for my car because it's the only time I can be alone. My sunglasses are all crazy. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> this video is for nobody but me. So if you watch it, that's great. And I'm so happy you watched it. And But this is for the future Kayla. Um, I had a few aha moments the other day and I needed to... Um, get them out because um, I will forget and I don't want to forget so um, this is me reminding myself that I can do hard things um, I'm going without them they're all crazy um, a few weeks ago uh, I made lasagna for my little family and I have a very picky child. She is, doesn't like fruits or vegetables or anything, and she did not want to eat the lasagna. I know for a fact that she likes spaghetti, and she likes noodles, and she likes cheese, um, and she likes hamburger. I knew those things. So, um, for almost her whole life, most of the meals, unless she absolutely loves them, has been a fight. Um, well, this day, um, I pulled her aside and said, Aubrey, you can do hard things. And I explained that sometimes there are things in life that are hard, and for somebody else, they're not hard. But for you, they're hard. And that people don't necessarily like, I said, I don't like all the vegetables I eat, or I don't like everything I eat, but I do it because it's better for my body and it's better for mommy and I just explained those things to her and so she the whole rest of the time kept saying you could do this Aubrey you could do hard things you can do this you can do hard things and I was very impressed all I asked her to eat was five bites of the lasagna and she did. It was hard for her. That's something that I won't understand because that wasn't hard, ever hard for me. Um, but I think about how many things that in my life are hard for me that may not be hard for other people. And I can do them. So later that night, I decided I could do hard things. And I got on the elliptical at our house. And I decided I wanted to run a mile and just see if I could do it and I wanted to quit after one minute and after two minutes and I had to keep telling myself Kayla you can do hard things you can do this this is hard you can do it and I did it and I was so proud of myself so yesterday when I was at the nutritionist that was something that was very profound to me um, that I just felt and I want the future Kayla to remember that when life gets hard, you can do this. You got it. You, it's in the bag. It's hard now. But you can do hard things. Anything that's hard, you can do. You might need help. You might need to feel like you can't for a minute, but don't give up. Don't give up. This journey is going to be worth it. Um, you're going to learn so much about yourself, but it's going to become hard. And I want you to remember that you are worth it. Your kids are worth it. Your husband's worth it. That a tackling hard things is worth it and you can do this like I said this video wasn't for anybody else but me for my future self for when it gets hard if you watched it that's great I'm happy to share um, but I also want anybody who does watch it realize that they can do hard things um, and they can overcome some of their demons it's gonna take a long time I haven't even had surgery yet but I want the pre-surgery Kayla me 
to tell the post-surgery Kayla that no matter what, you can do it. You can do it. You're strong enough. And I wanted to tell myself that right now while I'm feeling like that. Because when you're feeling like crap and then you can't do it, then you won't you won't have that attitude. So that was all I wanted to say. Um, Kayla, you can. Bye.